Good morning, dear students. I hope all are keeping fine. Okay. Then, last class we have learned that parts of circle. Do you remember what are the parts of circle? How many of you can say? Yes, you can say center, radius, chord, diameter. Semicircle or extra are the parts of circle. Isn't it? What is center? The place where we keep the tip of the pencil that compass is called the center. Then that is equal distance from center to any point of the circle. Every point on the circle is Equal distance from the center. Then what is radius? The fixed distance from center between center to any point on the circle. That is radius is a fixed distance from center to any point on the circle is called a radius. What is the plural of radius? Radii. Okay. Then we have learned that the chord. Chord is a line segment whose end point lies in the circle. That, two, that is a line segment and the two end points lie in the, that is the two points of the circle. Other all points inside the circle. Okay. Then chord that we have done. Then diameter. Diameter also a line segment and that line the end points also starting point and ending point also lying in the circle but only one difference from chord it is passing to the center of the circle <coughs> it is passing to the center of the circle then which is the longest chord, uh, chord in the circle diameter Diameter is the longest chord in the circle. Chord of a circle. Then, circumferences. The boundary of a circle is called a circumferences. Boundary of a circle, the boundary. Border of a circle is called a circumferences. Then, semicircle. Half of a circle is called a semicircle. Or part of circle is called a arc. These all things we have learned in last class. And also we have learned how to find radius and how to find diameter. What is the relation between radius and diameter? Radius is half of diameter and the diameter is twice of radius. To get the radius, we divide uh, diameter by 2. Diameter divided by 2. To get radius, uh, to get the radius, diameter divided by 2. To get diameter, radius multiplied by 2. That also we have done last class. And also we have done to find exercise 9.3 also. Okay. Now we are going to learn about perimeter and area. What is the topic? Next topic. What is the next topic? Perimeter and area. Perimeter and the Perimeter and both is correct. and the both is Perimeter and the area. What is called perimeter? The length along the boundary of a polygon is called a perimeter. The length along the boundary of a polygon.
the length along the boundary of a polygon is called a perimeter do you remember what is polygon huh? that is a closed figure having more than three lines perimeter that polygon is a closed figure made by more than three line segments okay then now we are going to learn that the perimeter of polygon can you say some example of perimeter so if uh, uh, some example of for that uh, polygons square rectangle triangle etc okay then what is called perimeter the length along the boundary of a polygon is called a uh, polygon is called a perimeter okay next first example of polygon is rectangle that also we have named features of rectangle what is called what is the features of rectangle two opposite sides are equal and parallel and it has four corners and it has four sides rectangle is a four sided polygon having four corners and opposite sides are equal Okay, then 2 into 
go. Ten plus first we have to solve in the bracket. Ten plus four, fourteen centimeter. Fourteen centimeter. That two multiplied by fourteen is equal to twenty-eight centimeter. Okay. Perimeter of rectangle is equal to two multiplied by L plus B. Or two into L plus B. Okay. Then one more example. Ready? 
meter square is equal to 4 multiplied by side. Because all sides are equal. 4 multiplied by 5 centimeter is equal to 20 centimeter. 4 multiplied by 5 centimeter is equal to 20 centimeter. Okay. What is perimeter square? 4 into side. Or 4 into length of one side. Perimeter of rectangle is equal to 2 multiplied by L plus B. Okay, you have to keep it in your mind this formula and you have to learn by heart. Okay, then next one perimeter of Next one, rectangle. Sorry, triangle. There is a triangle. What is called triangle? Triangle is a three-sided polygon. Triangle is a three-sided polygon. Here it is four centimeter, six centimeter, and uh, seven centimeter. Four centimeter, six centimeter, <coughs> and the what is the perimeter? We can find 4 cm plus 6 cm plus 7 cm. That is no alone. You have to make a special formula. We can add all the sides. 4 plus 6, 10. 10 plus 7, 17 cm. Again, perimeter of triangle is equal to side plus side plus side. Or A plus B plus C. A means length of one side. B means length of another side. C means length of third side. Okay. Then let us go to exercise 9.4. Here exercise 9.4.
centimeter. Four eights are thirty-two centimeter. Then here yeah, next one, question number D. Twenty meter. Here yeah, this meter. Twenty meter. Perimeter square is equal to. Length is 16 meter 
and that is equal to 9 meter. 9 meter. Okay, my room. And I have taken it for rectangle is equal to 2 into L plus B. Okay, then 2 multiplied by 16 meter plus 9 meter. Here it is meter. Okay, then 2 multiplied by 16 plus 9. What is 16 plus 9? 25. 25 meter is equal to 2 multiplied by 25 50 50 meter 50 meter ok the last one
to do in your movie you can do in your book is okay today this class we have learned that perimeter what is called perimeter perimeter is the length the length along the boundary of a polygon the length along the boundary of a polygon is called the perimeter perimeter square is equal to 2 uh, the four multiplied by sides because all four sides are equal so we are taken four as common okay four multiplied by side then perimeter of rectangle 2 multiplied by l plus b opposite sides are equal to opposite sides are equal then perimeter of triangle a plus b plus c by adding three side we will get perimeter of triangle okay next class we are going to learn that area of square and rectangle okay thank you have a nice day